everyone welcome back to another vlog it has been a while i thought i'd pick up the camera today and share my weekend with you all so basically welcome to my vlog if you are new here i'm chantel lovely to meet you thank you so much for clicking on this video it's great having you here i've decided to pick up the camera today and do a little weekend vlog with me because i put on some makeup i've done my hair not that that should like instigate a vlog but it does in my life because I just wanted to, basically. I don't even know why I'm justifying myself, but yeah, I am, because I just am. But today's an exciting vlog because Liam and I are on the hunt for a new TV. I say exciting, we're a bit sad because our TV is gonna have to go to TV heaven because it is broken and we've had someone have a look at it and it was gonna cost like nearly 400 pounds to get it refixed. So we're a bit like, we've had this TV for five years now and we need a new TV. It's time, you know, this one has gone bye-byes. So yeah. For the sake of a few more hundred pounds, because if I've got loads of money, I really don't have loads of money. We have to really think about it very, very hard about how much we're going to spend on a TV. But we also are not going to Walt Disney World now. So yeah, we're going to get ourselves a TV because we need to treat ourselves because we're feeling sad and we still need to watch Disney stuff. So we need a TV. Basically, the problem with the TV is the fact that it's got a nice little black shadow on the bottom of the screen, which is super annoying when you've got a smart screen TV because obviously you can't see any of your apps. And when you're watching something on the TV, it basically just distorts the image and it is rubbish to watch. So this is our current setup of a TV situation. Behold the TV that is broken. It was a 55 inch Samsung TV. We got it five years ago. So it has well and truly lived to tell a good tale. But we've only just put it on the wall and now we're having to watch TV, which is great because we still have a TV to use. Um, it's a little bit small, um, but it works just fine. And it was one of Liam's old TVs from his old bedroom when he used to live at his mum's. So yeah, this is what we're working with. Two TVs, one not working, one working, but a temporary measure. So I'm now going to go meet Liam because Liam has gone back to work now, which is fabulous. But he's just finishing work. So we're gonna go and meet him and you guys can come along with us and we can have a little look at TVs because this is an exciting life. We're gonna go and look for a new TV. So I have arrived and unlike me, I'm a few minutes early, which allows me a few minutes to talk to you guys. Um, Liam is on his way and yeah, we're just basically going to Curry's just to have like a look at some TVs um, because like I said in my previous bit of the vlog that our TV has broken and that sucks a little bit. So I thought I would like take you guys along with me. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film in there because obviously things are a bit strange at the minute out and about. Like obviously we're trying to get back to the new normal as they say. Um, so I have at the ready my ma and my hand sanitizer. Today is Saturday the 18th of July so it isn't mandatory at the minute in the UK, well, in England, to wear a mask inside, but like I have started getting used to it anyway. So yeah, I am wearing my mask. But Liam has literally just arrived next to me. So let's go and have a little look at some TVs. So we're off to Curry's and yeah, I hope you guys can hear me with my mask on, but yeah, let's go inside, see what it's all about. Guys, help me out here. Liam keeps going on about a bloody fridge freezer. Um, we've got a fridge freezer, it works absolutely fine, but yeah, he wants this, a new fancy smart fridge freezer. Liam, what type of TV are we after? A big one. A big one, like what size are you thinking? 70. 70 inch, like, we have a 55 inch, but Liam really just wants to go up and up and up, and yeah, we're having a little look. We're looking at like an LG one, so yeah, I think I'm, like, we'll show you like what a 70 inch TV looks like, it's probably gonna be absolutely massive. I we found like such a bargain TV I thought like this TV was £899 but it was the sound bar so yeah I didn't get like a good bargain there did I Liam? Liam do you not think that? That's it yeah so that is £65 so it's good yeah you can see it's in between. <laughs> not that big. No? Okay I mean it looks smaller on the camera but Spotted like one small tiny problem is the fact that I don't have my glasses on so I'm literally leaving Liam to make the decision about the clarity of the TV but to be fair he has 20-20 vision, I don't. There seems to be like a lot of things you have to consider when buying a TV, like so many things and Liam's teaching me lots today. Um, we've like sat down, stood up, stood at different angles for the TV and yeah my eyes are just rubbish without my glasses. Well they're not, I can still see without my glasses but not like the clarity of what needs to be seen for a TV. Crazy. So Liam and I are like obviously still here making a decision about TVs, but obviously we're like dog parents. So Liam and I love like tech, uh, especially Liam, and he's making our home a smart home. And we have installed cameras inside the house so we can see the dogs while we're away. So let me see what they are up to. Da -da 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 -da. 
there they are. There's one of them. I don't know where the other one is. I don't know where Chloe is, we better have a little look on the camera. Liam, have you found Chloe yet? No. Talk to her. <laughs> Liam's favourite song is just sold it to us. The decision has been made. Outfits, which is every female's dream. <laughs> <laughs> but every male's dream shall we say but yeah um we are like roaming around liam's like started up cycling now like proper road biking so he's looking at like some cycling bits and yeah like just cycling bits he keeps trying to get me involved and a lot of people at my work do cycling and stuff so yeah um i don't know i'm not an avid cycler i don't mind a bike ride but liam goes like on the roads which i think is so scary but yeah he loves it <laughs> We couldn't find you. Was you the TP? Poppy Bella. Hello, my loves. Hello. Hello. So I decided to get us a nice cheeky little McDonald's. I can't believe I said cheeky little McDonald's, but yeah, we're getting them at McDonald's because we are hungry. So let's eat. So I'm just about to eat a little McDonald's. Let me know in the comment box below, what do you order from McDonald's? I love a McChicken sandwich meal and I always have like the cheese variety, like the cheese dippers. Um, today I've got mozzarella cheese dippers. Liam and I are gonna eat. Then we're gonna sit on the couch and have a look at our current 55 inch TV and really decide whether that is enough. Um, there were so many choices of TVs today and it was just such a hard decision, but we think we've made a decision, but we said we need to sit on a couch and actually have a look like at our wall and see really what's appropriate to be going on there. Um, yeah, we'll see. It's such a hard decision, but I'm so glad that we went into the store and had a look because honestly, like we didn't realize some of the quality of the TV, the pictures and stuff. Like, so I'm glad we sat down and had a little look in there, but we're going to sit in the living room in a minute. But first, McDonald's time. Liam. What have you just gone and done? New TV. Do you want to tell the viewers what size TV after much delivery? A big one. A big one. After... It's not that big. Mm. All right, this is some debate. Okay, guys, leave me a comment in the box down below if you think a. All right, so we've got a 55 inch, which looks fairly big on the wall, but I said we should upgrade to a 65, which Chantel thought was too big. Mm. Long story short, I've just ordered a 75. Why <laughs> you say that out loud? Sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Guys, comment in the box below. Let me know. Is 75 inch too big? It won't come just yet. It's on order. So it won't come to like the middle of August. So we are going to have to make do with this setup. Broken TV, working TV. So... You know, for the next month, we're going to be looking at what size TV is the Bush one? 43? 43 inch. And then we're going to go... The thing is, the 75 inch isn't actually... It doesn't fit on our TV unit. No. So it has to go straight onto the wall. Which is fine, because we wanted our TV on the wall anyway, yeah. didn't we? But we've ordered a 75 inch TV. I literally, I've got a video of Liam on my phone months ago measuring up with a measuring tape having an absolute laugh like 75 inch we're never going to get a 75 inch it's ridiculous spoke too soon <laughs> so yeah now we've got to go and get ourselves a sound bar haven't we because the sound bar that we've got is a samsung one and obviously it's connected to the samsung tv so there's nothing wrong with the sound bar which is a bit of a shame really but it won't work with the lg tv so yeah absolutely crazy times guys we at least we've decided on a TV, and now we've got to decide where we're going on holiday, haven't we? Because we're not going to on holiday with a 75 inch TV. <laughs> That's true, we're not obviously going on a big holiday now this year, we're having to wait like another another whole year. Um, so we've treated ourselves to a TV, even though ours was broken anyway, but yeah. Crazy times guys, crazy times. Oh, what an afternoon guys. Honestly, I've been so incredibly busy. <laughs> like, Crazy busy. Oh, I don't know if you know why I'm going into this room. I'm meant to be going into this room. I am now going to get into my pyjamas. We have booked some very exciting trips, which oh, after the sadness about Walt Disney World and our like trip being cancelled for that, we have booked to go to Scotland for a week. 
um, we are going to Loch Lomond, which is something Liam and I have always spoken about. Well, Liam's parents are both Scottish and my mum's side is all Scottish. So pretty much it is, yeah, crazy that Liam and I have actually never been to Scotland together. Like Liam's been to Scotland quite a few times recently. Um, I haven't been actually for some time, like in fact, over seven years, like the whole time I've been with Liam, we have never been to Scotland together and I haven't been to Scotland at all. And we have basically spoken for ages, like we need to take Chloe and Poppy away. And we've even spoke like before we even had Chloe, we need to take Poppy away. So yeah, we've always spoken about having a lodge like by the lock at Loch Lomond and that is exactly what we're going to do. So I'm so excited. Our lodge has like a sauna in it. Oh, it's got a jacuzzi bath and it looks literally over the lock and you can see Ben Lomond and it's just <sighs> so exciting. So I'm very excited to share that trip. If you guys are interested in what it's like to go on a doggy holiday to Loch Lomond in Scotland, then that one will be coming up in the very near future. There's also talks about another very exciting trip which might happen. I'm not gonna share on the vlog at the minute with that one. I am gonna hold off and do like another little vlog maybe. If that one pulls off, we will see, very exciting. But for now, I'm gonna get in my pajamas and I'm gonna take this makeup off using my Tropic skincare, have like a relaxing night, maybe watch some TV on our very random TV setup at the moment. But rest assured, we will have a new TV in about a month. It's on order, so that's exciting. So yeah, let's take these makeup off and these pajamas and let's get into the nighttime. So the fact that we can't go to a spa right now, this is like obviously the next best thing and I love using my Tropic ABC collection. And yeah, basically you just massage all of this Tropic smoothing cleanser onto your skin. So three pumps of that and yeah, just massage it all over your makeup, over your mascara. And it doesn't sting your eyes at all. I mean, it makes you look a bit scary, but that probably looks so strange to you guys. Then you just take the bamboo cloth and it's like really warm. So you just rub over your skin. Guys, I'm actually shook. That literally just took all of my makeup off. Three pumps of the, this, then with the cloth and it just took all of it off. Like, that's so impressive. I mean, my cloth's a bit dirty, but oh i feel like so clean then on to the vitamin toner and you just basically spray three pumps of this across your face so one two three and it smells like cucumbers and aloe vera it is like really refreshing and you just yeah careful you don't hit yourself because i did this to liam and accidentally hit him in the face but yeah that is the toner just let that like soak in and finally onto the Skin Feast, which is the moisturizing cream and it smells like oranges. So I don't know why I'm shaking it, but yeah, it smells like oranges. So like one, two, three pumps of them and just rub it between your fingers and just moisturize in like an upwards motion. Oh, I've been doing this on Liam as well and he absolutely loves the smell of this moisturizer. I just Oh, it smells like Terry's chocolate orange. It smells amazing. <sighs> and that's the end of the vlog, guys. If you guys would like to see like a nighttime care routine with me, please let me know in the comment box below because I'd love to do an updated one for you guys, especially because I've got new exciting products that I am using now in my day-to-day -day regimes. But I think now I am actually gonna go. I'm gonna go and chill out on the sofa and yeah, just have like a nice relaxing evening. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and you've made it to the end of this vlog. You are a massive trooper and I appreciate you so much. And don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in a video very, very soon. Bye.